Welcome to Amsterdam Central. We're going to take the ferry across the water this morning to NDSM, which is kind of the wharf area on the other side of the River Eye. We're going to check out Eye Holland, which is a once a month market for people to sell their antiques, their goods, whatever. It's, it's a lot of fun, so come along with us. To reach the NDSM shipyard from the Amsterdam city center, walk to the rear of Amsterdam Central Station where you'll find the ferry terminals. Look for the one labeled F4 line. This direct ferry to NDSM departs every 15 to 30 minutes, seven days a week. Best part, it's absolutely free. You can ride it back and forth all day if that kind of thing floats your boat. These ferries can carry 300 to 400 passengers on foot bike and motor scooter at a time. As you might imagine, they can get quite busy. The trip across the River Eye takes around 14 minutes, and on a day like this, I almost wish it was longer. It is an absolutely gorgeous ride. For those new to the channel, we're Tori and Danny, and that's our pupper Laney in the pram. Welcome along with us on our travels and adventures, both near and far. Alright, so we made it to the NDSM area. This former shipyard turned cultural hotspot is located on the north bank of the Eye River. It's known for its industrial charm, street art, and a thriving creative scene. The ferry arrived in NDSM Wharf, the heart of this neighborhood, formerly known as Nederlandsche Dock and Schreifspel Matscheipe. It's a massive shipyard turned cultural hub hosting festivals, events, and artistic installations. There's always something exciting happening here. You can explore creative workshops, art studios, and even catch a theater performance. It's a haven for artists and art enthusiasts alike. One of the highlights of this area is the street art scene. Everywhere you look, you find colorful and thought-provoking murals. Artists from all over the world have left their mark here, creating a truly unique outdoor gallery. It's like walking through an open-air museum, and every corner tells a different story. It's also here you'll find the massive former shipbuilding shed which has been transformed into an arts incubator and event space. But it's outside this building that you find the entrance gates to I Holland. This monthly flea market is the largest in Europe. And trust me, it's a paradise for bargain hunters and vintage enthusiasts. Let's step inside and see what we can find. Admission to the market is five euros per person. You can buy your tickets online or at the entrance with cash or a Dutch debit card. Instead of paper tickets, you get these fun plastic tokens to exchange at the gates. The moment you enter I Holland, you'll be greeted by rows and rows of stalls filled with all kinds of goodies. From clothing to accessories, furniture to electronics, you name it, they've probably got it. It's like stepping in a time capsule where you can find hidden gems from different eras. It's truly a treasure trove of nostalgia. As you navigate through the maze of stalls, keep your eyes peeled for unique items that catch your attention. You never know what you might stumble upon. A vintage designer piece, maybe a rare vinyl record, or just a quirky antique that really speaks to your soul. The thrill of the hunt is what makes I Holland so exciting.
Now this place can get pretty crowded, but don't let that discourage you. Just embrace the hustle and immerse yourself in the energetic atmosphere. It's really all part of the experience. Also, try and use your bargaining skills here. Most sellers are open to negotiations, so don't be afraid to haggle and strike a deal. It adds an extra layer of fun and satisfaction when you manage to snag that perfect item at a bargain price. After hours of treasure hunting, you might need to refuel. No worries, iHolland has you covered. They have food stands and trucks scattered through the market, uh, offering a wide variety of snacks and drinks. Grab a bite, recharge your energy, and get back out there for some more exploring. Now here's a pro tip. If you're a morning person and you want the first pick at the good stuff, consider arriving early. The market opens at 9am, but dedicated treasure hunters often queue up before that to get a head start. It's a small sacrifice to make for those coveted finds. Now, if this sounds like something you'd like to experience on your next trip to Amsterdam, check the website for the official operating dates. Maybe we'll see you there. After we finished our shopping, we decided to stop for a snack at a local restaurant. There are several around to choose from. We recommend you get a reservation, if possible. With the crowds, it can sometimes be hard to snag a table. We had an absolutely amazing morning at NDSM and at IHON. The weather is beautiful. It's uh, Mother's Day, so it's a bit crowded Sunday, but uh, still, just an amazing time. I bought a few things, just a couple records, uh, but as you can tell, there's just so much there. It doesn't matter what you're looking for, clothes, trinkets, art, furniture, no matter what, it's probably there. You're probably going to find it. So next time you find yourself in Amsterdam, look up by home and check the dates and if you can make it, enjoy. It's a great time.